in preparation for climbing Mount Wheeler, New Mexico's highest peak at, I believe, 13,600 feet, I have uh, prepared a series of maps that include a three, two and a half, three hour bike ride to the Taos Ski Valley Resort and at least an eight, eight hour hike back and forth and then the bike ride back to the town of Taos, New Mexico. Mount Wheeler is, I believe, at 13,600 feet. I have to ride up to the ski resort in two and a half, three hours with this. And it is six o'clock in the morning and the sun has arrived, but I must leave shortly. Ready to go. 625, mountain bike, the man with the pack sack, man with the pack sack, hiking boots, light, ready to go. Let me see where we get. Seven o'clock in the morning. I've been uh, gone for about half an hour. The sun still hasn't risen. I'm going towards not those mountains, but the ones behind that house. And all is well. 7,000 feet where we're starting from, though so the bike might be a bit of an issue. And I still have to go from 7,000 feet to 10,000 feet on the bike. And then another 3,000 feet hiking. Que sera, sera. So um, I'm presently at about uh, 7,663, 4 feet. The uh, GPS altimeter is still adjusting itself and going up. I have 8 more miles up this road to get to the ski center and it is 8 o'clock which is pretty good um, if that's the right time of day. And I am in the National Forest of Carlson near Taos, New Mexico. Very beautiful. Off we go. Eight thousand four hundred and fifteen feet. I'm walking now. My toes are frozen, that's why I'm walking. Gotta get some blood back in my toes. And I still have three and a half miles to go up the hill, but it could be worse. Michel Guerin. Another casualty of the road. No comment. Uh, the GPS indicates 9,187. <coughs> but as we can tell by the sign at the back, it was uh, 9,200. About a mile and a half before I get to the end of the bike route and the beginning of the trailhead to hike up to Wheeler Mountain. Uh, did I say it was 9.30? Forced break to uh, get some energy because uh, I think I've been pedaling since 6.30 this morning. 9.30, that's three hours. And uh, voila, we continue. The GPS indicates 9,400 feet. I am at the trailhead of the Wheeler Peak. They indicate it's an eight to nine hour round trip. Wheeler Peak is down here. I'm going to be taking Trail 90 via Fraser Mountain, uh, Bull of the Woods, and there where we are. I think I'm going to be able to drag the bike all the way up here. Anyhow, that gives you an idea of where I am. Woo! More to go.
been having lunch at uh, 10,864 feet at uh, Wheeler Peak Trail or full, full of the mountains, pasture, and the birds are here. The valley I rode my bike up. I'm thinking at point W1, that's where I'm turning back, because there's a whole bunch of switchbacks in front of me, and over there, I think that's the peak that goes 12,849 feet, and just after that is 13,000 feet. So I've actually done more than half the distance, but I have to go back. I'm claiming this is my high point, 12,171 feet, the ski center, the sacred mountain, the mountain I wanted to do, there, but you know what, sometimes you have to go especially when you rode for three hours to get up this valley, that valley down there, and you have three hours have just reached Bull of the Wood Pasture and must continue. 1539, um, changed from hiking shoes into these shoes for the ride down. I helped a German lady who living, who's lived here um, pump up her tires because she had those fancy valves. And um, now I'm going to go down from 9,500 feet to 7,000 in that canyon. So I'm on my way. Off I go on that wonderful bike. in the afternoon, maybe 10 minutes away from the hotel, came up from those mountains. I didn't make the summit, but you know what, um, the sun still high in the sky, so maybe I had a couple more hours. Maybe I could have done it, but you know what, I'll be glad to get in because I left at 6.30, 6.25, and I haven't stopped since then, so time to take a bath. And Call it quits. Back to the hotel. 530. 